hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here we take 5 raised to power 6 to the left hand side and we have x minus 2 4 raised to power 6 minus 5 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here then from here we can write this as x minus 2 4 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2, as 2 times 3 here will be 6, then minus 5 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2, also equals to 0 from here. Then what we have here follows when we have difference of two squares, a square minus b square, same thing as a plus b into bracket then open bracket a minus b that is from what we have here a standing as x minus 2 raised to power 3 then b stand as 5 raised to power 3 and from here we can write this from here and we have x minus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets then also open bracket x minus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 from here and here we have two possible cases now the first one we have x minus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 all raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from here then from here this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 which is also equals to a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b squared and from here what we have here follow this and we have x minus 2 plus 5 in the form of a plus b then into bracket then open bracket x minus 2 squared then minus 5 times x minus 2 then plus 5 squared equals to 0 from here that is here yeah, this becomes x plus 3 into brackets the open bracket expansion here give us x square minus 4 x plus 4 the minus 5 open this bracket we have minus 5 x plus 10 then plus 5 squared that's 25 Close bracket equals to 0 from here. Then here we have x plus 3 now into brackets, then open bracket. Here we have x square, the minus x minus 4x minus 5x, that's minus 9x. Then we have 4 plus 10, that's 14, and 14 plus 25, we have plus 39. Close bracket equals to zero from there. That is here. We have two possible cases x plus three equals to zero, or we have x square minus nine x plus thirty nine equals to zero from here. And on this side, we have x equals to minus three, which is a real solution here. Then from here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 9, and c equals to 39. On the formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, and here this becomes x equals to minus minus 9 plus or minus 
square root of minus 9 square then minus 4 times 1 times 39 then over 2 times 1 that is from here we have x equals to minus times minus it as plus so we have 9 plus or minus square root of minus 9 square we have 81 then minus 4 times 1 times 39 156 then over 2 here that is here we have x equals to 9 plus or minus square root of 81 minus 156 we have minus 75 over 2 here that is this becomes x equals to 9 plus or minus we can write this as square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 then over 2 that is from here we have x equals to 9 plus or minus root 25 here that's 5 then we have root 3 root minus 1 that's i then over 2 which implies here we have two complex solutions on this side that is solving from the second case here this follows then we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a minus b into brackets the open bracket a square plus a b plus b squared that is from here what we have becomes x minus 2 minus 5 then into brackets open brackets x minus 2 squared then plus 5 times x minus 2 then plus 5 squared close bracket equals to 0 from here that is here what we have becomes x minus 7 into brackets then open bracket expansion here gives us x square minus 4x plus 4 and here 5 open the bracket we have plus 5x minus 10 then plus 5 square which is 25 close bracket equals to 0 from here then here we have x minus 7 into bracket then open bracket this gives us x square minus 4x plus 5x that gives us plus x then we have 4 minus 10 or we can say minus 10 plus 25 that's 15 then plus 4 that's 19 then equals to 0 from here which implies we have two cases here x minus 7 equals to 0 or we have x square plus x plus 19 equals to 0 from here on this side we have x equals to 7 also a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation whereby a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 19 applying the formula here we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 19 then over 2 times 1 that is here we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is t1 then minus 4 times 1 times 19 we have 76 then over 2 here then we have x now equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 75 here over 2. That is from here, this becomes x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 here. That is, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 25 is 5, then we have root 3, root minus 1 is i, 
then over 2 which implies we have two complex solutions here then all together we have six solutions in this problem we have two risk solutions here two complex solutions here and two complex solutions here making six solutions together and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now